Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. ¿Por qué no se conectaba, Melvin? I was changed my clothes. <laughs> yes. Just arriving from work. Uh, no. Uh, 30 minutes ago. Oh, 30 minutes ago. But when I came home, I made, I don't, I don't know, I cleaned the house. Oh. With my dogs. And after that, I changed my clothes. Eat some, eat anything. And go to classes, teacher. <laughs> day, teacher. Very busy. Very, very busy today. But yeah, doing good. <laughs> I've been working since 6 a.m., so Whoa, pretty busy. This... Mm -hmm. Today <laughs> I, I work from 7 to 6. From 7 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Yes. Oh, no, that's too Well, in the past, yes, I used to work from 6 a.m. to 8, 8.30 p.m. every day. That's why... Hours. Yes. yes, that's why I left my other job because it was too much. But currently you do it the same? No. No, because I'm, I'm actually, I, I, the thing is that I have two jobs now. I have this one and another yeah. one. But, but I finished. A, a break to, to have a uh -huh. lunch, a, a dinner. Yeah, because I finished at 3 30 p.m. Ah, that's nice. Then I have off from 3.30 until 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can do my, my homework from, from the university too. <laughs> and, you, and you take a nap, no? Yeah, now yes, I take ah. a nap. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, yeah. I wish I made this. <laughs> during lunch, you can do that during lunch. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, you're right. Yeah. 15 minutes and it feels great. Yes. Sounds great, yes. Hello, Corina. Hello. How are you? Hi, Sam. Aquí, nice. Aquí, nice. Keep it nice. Yeah, you see, teacher. <laughs> Perfect. In room, teacher. You were room. running too. Today yeah. it was raining, right? There was a lot of traffic in the streets. Yeah. It's true. It's true, there was a lot of traffic. I went out today. I usually don't go out, but today I went out and I saw the traffic. It was terrible. And all the, the, yeah. the, the streets were flooded with a lot of water. Right, yeah. so. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. Well, I think we're going to start with the two of you. Okay? Let's start with the class because it's 8, 10 p.m. And today, well, uh, this is uh beginner level module six right and we're going to uh, have big video conference numero 18 how to use the verb in in the past we already know how to use the verb in the past so what we're going to do is that we're going to practice with a lot of exercises right with a simple past right now we're going to start with the first activity and I want you guys to remember, I want you to remember the pronunciation of this. Did you practice this pronunciation at home? Hmm? No? No. No. Oh, si puede, si puede. Okay. <laughs> let, let, us, let us practice. I need you to, to go ahead and try to remember the pronunciation. You know, it's, let me see here. There we are. It is very important for us to remember the pronunciation of, of, you know, of ED in past, right? Which is very difficult. And that's what we're gonna do today, okay? Now, uh, we're going to start here with, to see if you remember some of the pronunciation. Hello, Edwin, hello, Osmin. Hello, teacher. Good, hello, good hello. Night. Good evening. Now we're gonna start working here and Let's see if you remember the pronunciation. Let's just start with Edwin. You ready, Edwin? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, okay. the, the, the... You're going to tell me this pronunciation today. 
the, 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 oh, all right, this one. It's cold, mm -hmm. clean, offer, damage, low, used, image, rub, claim. Claim, very good. We're just gonna uh, practice two more here, Edwin. Amazed. Amazed. Amazed, like Amazon, amazed. 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 And this one is okay. robbed. 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 Okay, very good. Very good. Choose one Thank of you. the people we have here, uh, Edwin, to practice uh, the pronunciation. Okay, let me see. Oh, uh, Melvin. Melvin. Mm -hmm. Melvin, we're going to practice this too. Okay, um, help. Look. Sleep. Love. Washed. Uh -huh. Watch, kiss, dance, and fix. Mm, fixed. Very good. Now choose another person, Melvin. Miss um, Corina. Miss Corina. Miss Corina, we're going to practice this. Sí, okay. Cal, cal, cold. 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 Clean. Offer. The maid. Damaged. Loved. Damaged. 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 Loved. 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 Uh-huh. Used. 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 Uh -huh. Used. Amazed. Rubber. Rubber. Robbed. 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 Claimed. And claimed. Robbed. Claimed. Claim. Very good. Very good. That was great. Very good, Corina. And the last person, so we can finish with this, uh, you know, activity. Choose another person, Corina. Um, Osmi. Osmi. You go, Osmi, with this. Okay. It's followed, enjoyed, played, right, continued. Continued. Very nice. Very nice. Tell me this too, Osmi. Sorry, what is this one? Uh, I think and want, needed. Wanted. Wanted and needed. And needed. Very nice. Very nice. So, what do you think about this pronunciation? Is this difficult? What do you think? Hello, Maria. Hello, Esther. Hello, Carla. <laughs> okay. What do you think about this that pronunciation? <laughs> so, some of the words are a little bit difficult to pronounce, but we need to get used to it to to this vocabulary. To this book, very nice, very nice. Yes, they are very difficult. Some of them are difficult to pronounce, them, yes. but you need to practice. If you practice, we're going to be fine. Okay. Now, we're going to continue here working, and let me get some water. Okay. We're going to continue working here with simple past. Everything that we're going to do tonight is going to be related to simple past. Hello, Raul Francisco. Hello, Veronica. No. Hi, good evening. Sorry. Good evening. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. No tenía luz. Es que estaba lloviendo mucho. Ese es uno de mis miedos, que no haya luz en la casa. Para de, así porque se nos va el wifi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I have here, right? Look at this. It says write the simple past of these verbs, right? It says we have the first verse on the top, right? We have cook, and then we have cook. Right. And then on this other box, this is the first box. How do you call this verse in English? Where are they going to be? Are these regular or irregular verbs? Regular. Regular, regular verbs. Regular verbs. Very good. What about this one? Irregular. These are? Irregular verbs. Very good. Irregular verbs. 
Perfect. So here we have two boxes that we're going to actually work with. The only thing is that I need you to pay attention to this. In this part, you are going to write the past tense. In the irregular verbs, you are going to write the base form. Look at this, it says mm -hmm. by boat. Mm -hmm. And if I have gave, what is the answer? What? Give. Give, give. give. very good, give. is give. So here we're gonna put give, right? Yeah. Very good, so we're going to use the base form. Mm -hmm. What about number two here is enjoy? What is the past tense? Enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy it. it, very enjoy good. It. That was very nice pronunciation. <laughs> Very good. So we have there the past. This is what we're going to do right now. You have different verbs, right? Now you are going to do it right now individually. You're going to work in groups, okay? But first you're going to do it individually and then you are going to compare with your classmates. Is that clear? Is that clear? No, maybe? Yes. Okay, very yes. good. Now, can you please take a screenshot of the of the exercise? It's done. Okay. The others? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So let's go That's ahead good. and start right now. We have 10 participants. We're gonna make five groups. You're going to remember working pairs, but you are going to first work individually and then you're going to compare. That's what we're gonna do, right? So let's start, let's work, let's work. Let's get together right now, please. Let's get in groups. Enjoy your meal, Raul Francisco. Let's continue, let's continue. Se te escucha cortado. Yes, Melvin. A, a mí se me oye, se me oye cortado. Sí, me sale. Creo que es tu internet. <laughs> it sounds like a robot. Oh, sorry, it, it's raining a lot. <laughs> the teacher say it's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. Yay, it's me. Very good. Ya, aprendió algo ahí. Okay, good. <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs. It's, it's true. Is it raining where you are? Yes? In my house, no. In my house, it's not raining. In my house, it's not raining. Who is Flor Sanchez? Oh. Oh. Give me a moment, I will be back. It's, it's new teacher. Yeah, sorry, I, I thought there was someone else in the chat, but I think it was from an administration. But do you have a question about the activity? Oh, maybe. Perdió la conexión. Sí, pote. So I'm gonna put you in another group, okay? Okay. Si no, que chiste, niño. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna put you with Esther and Maria. Let's go. Hi, did you finish? No teacher. 
Hoy no. Hoy no. Hoy no. Hoy no. Todavía no. Ok. Do you have any questions? No. 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 Is it busy? No yet. No por el momento. No yet, dice este. Ok. If you have questions, let me know, ok? Ok, teacher. Ok. Be back with you. Bye. 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 Study, study. And uh, that's try, right? Ah, el que borré la barra. I got it. It's try. Try. T R I E D. That's it. Okay. And this is it. U B I S I T I S U V. No, it's V. V V V V V V V S in Victor. It's not U V. No. What? UV, UV song uh, rayos ultravioletas, ultraviolet. UV. Mm -hmm. UV are UV are you ultraviolet? Huh? <laughs> but we are at night. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's V as in Victor. B I and v. v V as in Victor, and the other one is V as in boy. Boy, boy and Victor. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let okay. me see the verbs. Okay, good. You good? Any questions? Uh, yes. Spend. Uh, mm, no. Spend. No? Pending. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll let you work then. Okay. Okay. So. Hello. Hello. Teacher. Any questions? Um, um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everything clear? Good. Okay. Uh, yes. Very good. Keep working. I'm. I'm just going to watch. Okay. Okay. Uh, six. Um, the bear is spent. Wash, 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 Sandra, do you know this, this verb? Spell, gastar mm -hmm. tiempo, spell. Mm -hmm. How would you use that verb in a sentence, Sandra? A sentence? Oh. How would you use use the verb in a sentence? Spend. Oh, no. ¿Cómo lo usaría? How would you use it? Uh, the time is um, how how spend in the time you adore in my world. Cuánto, who, cuánto, when, ¿cómo sería? Cuánto, en español, ¿sabes? No, in English, try, in try. English. Equivocámonos, vaya. Cuánto, uh, when, how when, much, how much, cuánto, how much, uh, how is that much? about money? Ok, uh, how is, much. I spend in my in, in clothes. Ah, ten dollars. <laughs> ten dollars for a blouse, maybe. No, too, it's, too it's cheap, a, right, Carmen? Uh -huh. in, in spend the tiempo, como gastar tiempo. Ah, how, okay, in this case, what you can say is, for example, uh, who is Flor? Ah, hay una tal Flor que se quiere meter. Okay, ah, no. Okay. The, oh, ha, in this case, you can say, for example, I spent, I spent a lot of time with my family. Uh -huh. Ah, you see? Uh -huh. Different, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Different. Okay. Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time with my 
family. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Let us continue. Sleep, sad. Um, in question, teacher, with a spend, maybe how much time do you spend with your family? How much time oh, do you no. spend with your family? Very good. How much no. time do you spend with your family? That's another question. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. And we we write the sentences with the no verbs. no no right now just the, the the past tense i was asking i was asking you because you were translating this is <laughs> como estaban traduciendo le estaba preguntando <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> so you don't translate so see see Slip. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Teacher, mm -hmm. um, why this verb changes the the last letter? Oh, why? the the spelling of the of the uh -huh. verbs because yeah. they are they are irregular verbs. So those are like that's like a rule that we have in English. So in English, in past, Carla, we have two type of verbs in simple past, regular verbs and irregular verbs. The regular verbs, we only have a rule that we add D, E, D, or I, E, D, right? But with the irregular verbs, all the verbs most of the time change. For example, if you have the verb go, in past tense is went. Right, so the whole spelling changes for the verb. But um, how can I identify a irregular verbs and regular verbs? That's why we're doing this exercise. <laughs> because I need you, the only way is by memorizing them. Okay. By practicing, practicing, practicing. Mm -hmm. So in the future you will say cook. Is that regular or irregular? Oh, that's that's regular verb, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we're, we're doing this so you can remember. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, yeah. So I will give you one more minute. Is that, would that, would that be okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Yeah. You have one minute. Okay. Um, the, the seven is take, Corinna. <laughs> Okay, seven is um, take. Do you finish? Yes. Okay, that's great. Um, we're just gonna wait for the others. Okay, let me go ahead and share my computer here. Can you see my computer? Yes. Very nice. Yes. We're just gonna wait, we have, I think everyone is here now. Yeah, okay, very good. So what we're gonna do right now is that we're going to start working here with the answers. What are the answers for this? Each one of you is going to tell me one verb, right? The answer for one of them. We already have this one, which is enjoy. Who wants to do number three? Me. Three. Yes? 
Invited. 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 Like invitation. Very good. Invited. I was invited to the party yesterday. Okay. I was invited. Okay. Very good. I invited my parents to the party. No, that's not happening. Okay. Good. <laughs> no what parents. <laughs> no parents allowed. What about mm -hmm. number four? Who has number four? Ed, Ed, Edwin, choose another person. Oh, uh, Francisco. Oh, Francisco's not here. The, the another Francisco. Ah, Raul Francisco, okay. Oh, Raul Francisco. Love. Hey. Love. Ah, loved. Mm -hmm. Very good. Love. I, I, th I thought he's saying hello or hello uh -huh, or something that's, like that. I'm confused. That's what I thought too. Who's next, yeah, Raul? <laughs> the next is Tari. Tari. Okay. Very good. Now choose another person. Alan. Alan. Okay. Try. How do you spell Try. that? T R I E D. Very good. Who's next? Um, mini, 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 Carla Gabriel. Carla Gabriel. Visited. Visited. Okay. I just visited my parents in the morning. Okay. Very good. Who's next, Carla Gabriel? Eh, Sandra Corina. Sandra Corina. Corina. Are you there? Okay. Guaches. What is the pronunciation, Corina? Guaches. No. Nope. It's a T sound at the end. Guaches. No. No. It's not wash it. No. Wash. Look at, look what? at, what? look. What? Washed. Very good. What? Very good. What? Very good. Okay. That's what? nice. What is number nine? Who's next, Corina? Uh, Maria de Jesus. Watch it. No. What? Washed. Very good. Very nice. What is number uh, three? Uh, Maria, choose another person. You can repeat mm. because I think Osmin? everyone. Osmin. Osmin. Uh, number three is meet with W E. Meet with double E. Very good. Meet. What's next? Or who is next? Osmi. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Sandra Veronica. Sandra Veronica. Okay, say. Say. Mm, no. Are you sure? Sí. Yes. Yeah. Say is, it's oh, no. like C. C. Okay, very Sorry. good. The answer C. is C. Very good. That is the answer. Say is not correct. Okay, very good. Now, what is number five? Veronica, choose another person. Esther. Esther. Number five. Sleep. 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 Very good. A sleep. Very good. What is next? Or who is next? Next. Edwin. Edwin. Okay. Spender. How do you spell it? S P E N D. Very nice. Very nice. Let's continue here with the next bird. Who's next? Edwin?
Edwin, who is next? Sandra. Which one? Sandra Veronica. Okay, Sandra Veronica. Okay, take. Take, okay, very good. And the last person, Sandra Veronica? Wait a moment. I wait a moment. Melvin. Melvin. Is Melvin no, here? No, está. <laughs> Melvin no está. Bien, ahí está. Yes, teacher. Melvin. <laughs> what is? Go, teacher. Is go. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, these are the answers for the verse. Carla Gabriel was asking me, teacher, how do I identify regulars from irregular verse? That's a great question. The only way that you can actually, well, that, that, you, that you have to identify this verse is by practicing with the verse all the time, right? All the time. For example, look at this, look at this, um, this, how many verses we have? We have 17 verses in this, in this PowerPoint. I need to look at it, right? Now, can you see my computer? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Now, if you look at this, can you tell me one sentence in simple past using this verse? One sentence, it can be positive or negative. Hi. Yes. Um, the last week. Last uh, week. Uh huh. The last week. Last week. Last week, my sister and I. I went to the beach. Last week, my sister and I went to the beach. Okay, very good. Last week, my sister and I went to the beach. Very good. Did you go to the beach with me? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very good. Very good. So we have there one example. Now, who, who else can give me another example? Nobody? Maria? Edwin? Corina? Yes, Have I you? have one. Okay. Uh, I spent twenty dollars in my pants yesterday. Okay, very good. I spent I spent twenty dollars in my pants yesterday. Very nice. I spent twenty dollars in food yesterday. <laughs> Very good, right? Who else can give me another example? Okay, I I visited my family on, on Saturday. Very nice, Corina. That's perfect. I visited my family on Saturday, right? Or last Saturday, last Saturday. Very nice. Last Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last Sunday, I cooked for my boys okay last sunday i cooked for my cook. boys exactly i cooked for my boys my boys it can be like my children right that would be the same my children give me one moment because i need battery for my laptop Second <laughs> okay who else can give me another example Uh-huh. Let's think about one more example. Melvin? Alan? More examples. Um mm -hmm. sorry, I'm connecting my computer again. There we are. Go ahead. I slept all the night last night. I is okay. I slept the whole night last the night. night. Okay. The whole night last the night. Whole night. Very okay. nice. That's perfect. Okay, now do we understand what we're doing with this verse? Mm -hmm. Yes, so so kind of. Okay. 
Don't worry, let's continue practicing here. We're gonna do so, another practice here on the computer. Do you have questions right now? Hello, Fatima, he said. Hi. Hi, do you have any questions about those verbs? Remember to look for the meaning of the verbs on Google, right? Go to Google, put the verb, don't look for the translation. Go to Google, look for the verb, and then click on images or pictures, right? So you can see the meaning of the verbs, right? Now, if you don't have questions, then we're going to continue. Look at the next exercise that we're going to do. Here, we practice this, we remember the verb. So you can use these verbs to write this information here, right? Can you please read this instruction, eh, Carla Gabriel? Write seven questions about recent events at your workplace using the paths of B. Then ask them to a classmate and share the answers with the whole class. Very good. Right now we're going to practice with the past of B. What is the past of B? Who remembers? Person word. Was and where, very good, Esther. Very good. Was and where is the past of B. So right now, what we're going to do is that we're going to create questions, right? But questions related to your workplace, right? So since we do not work in the same place, right, we are going to invent questions, right? Or you can create questions about your life. It doesn't matter if it's about work or your, or your life. It can be for example, I can say, were you in the supermarket last week? Is that a, is this is this sentence correct? Where did you? Were you in the supermarket last week, Esther? No, I was. Very good. No, I wasn't, right? I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I was in my house, for example, right? Now, this is one example of a question that we can make using the past of B for real life, right? What would be another example for something that can happen in the workplace? For example, were you in the training at the hotel, for example, right? Were you in the training at the hotel? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't, for example. Yes, I was in the training at the hotel last week, for example, right? That's what we're going to do when we want to provide or we want to make questions. Big, when we want to make questions here and First, we are going to create seven questions. Then we are going to ask those questions to a classmate. So if I work in groups, right, I can, I can ask one or two questions to the people in my group. Let's suppose I'm working with Melvin and with Esther. I can ask two questions to Melvin and two questions to Esther. But I have to write seven sentences. Is that clear? Okay. Yes? Do you have a question about the activity? Do you have a question about the activity? No, maybe? No, teacher. How many, sent, how many questions are you going to write? Seven. Seven, Seven. very Seven. good. What is the past tense verb that you're going to use? Wasn't where. Wasn't where, very good. How many questions are you going to ask to your classmates? At least two, two each. Two each. Very good. Two each. Very good. So let's start then, right? Let's just start working here. We're going to work. Oh, well, it's 8.50. So let me pass the attendance and then we get to work. Okay. Vamos a cambiar español para pasar la asistencia. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ni me
me van a ir a ver. No, porque no se puede, teacher, no, porque si se pudiera fuera. Let's see, Esther Maricela, Orellana Maradiaga. I'm here. Uh, Raúl Francisco Márquez Argueta. Gracias. Sandra Verónica Herrera Vanegas. I'm here. Adalilia Hernández de Salmerón. Osmín Alexander Hernández Campos. Perfecto. Elito Antonio Fuentes Reyes. María de Jesús Cardona de Fuentes. Present. Eh, Alan Javier Aldón Rivera. Present. Sergio Alexander Martínez Nieto, Miguel Orlando, José René Ábrego. Ok. Fátima Giselle Valladares Parada. Present. Uh, Mayra Noemi Cardosa. José Antonio Renderos. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Zulma Patricia Don Escolato. Carla Gabriel Flores Pineda. Presente. Edwin Alexander Ayalerazo. Here. Sandra Corina Miranda Maya. Present. Melvin Alexander Serrano Mercado. Present. Okay, very good. Now, we have the attendance. Let's go ahead and move to the exercise. Are we ready to do complete the questions? Yes, do you have a question before you go? No questions? No questions. Mm. Okay, let's go then. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see live on Facebook. Give me a moment. We're going to work with different people. We're going to work in groups of three, okay? Let's go. Let us go, let us go, let us go. Choose your group, please. Oh, no, Are you I'm there? Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, my internet is slow. Yes, it's not yet. <laughs> Let's go. Very good. Melvin, once you have connection, Melvin, please go to your group, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I, I, I work. Once it, Esther in the office yesterday. It's correct, teacher. What were you? Was Esther in the office yesterday? That's that's a correct sentence. You can ask, for example, Corina, was Esther in the office yesterday? Yes, mm. I don't know. <laughs> in my case, I don't know. So I need to I'm ask not. Esther, right? Esther, mm -hmm. what, were you at the office yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay, very good. Right, then you have your answer, Corina. Right, very good. You, so you can make mm -hmm. questions and answers in a com very nice conversation. Very good. Was Esther okay. in her office yesterday? Okay. In her office yesterday. Okay, another one. We need to do seven, right? Yes. Okay. Let's find the word. Uh, I have other. Okay. Were you in Were you in the computer all the night? And no. The whole night. Whole night. The whole all night. night. No, all the night. All night. The whole night. Whole. whole night. Do you know how to spell whole? W H O 
L E. Home. Like when, for example, when you have kids, usually you ask them, "Were you in the computer the whole night?" Right? What? What? Were you in oh. the computer the whole the whole night? Very good. That is an example. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any questions you may have right now? No. No? Okay. I see you. Okay. See you. Uh, was... Do you have questions? Um, no. No? No. No, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to listen to you. Keep working. Um, where you where you both send a new email this is my question <laughs> where your boss send you a new email or in, that, no? in that case I think it would be better if you ask did you did your boss send you an email? Did your boss send you an email? Did. But we're using where and was. Usually with where and was, we just use the states. For example, say, were you a teacher last month? You say, no, no was. Right. Mm -hmm. Were you a student at Inglés Corporativo last month? I don't understand. When I use where or did in question? Did, did, thank you. Did is pretty much when we use simple past with all the verbs, but with was and where, we just use it when we are talking about states or emotions. For example, I was happy yesterday. Mm. Right. So I can ask you, Osmin, were you happy yesterday? Uh, no, I wasn't. <gasps> okay, very, me neither, so don't worry. I wasn't <laughs> happy yesterday either, right? So you say, no, I wasn't, right? Then yesterday I, can... I was bored. Okay, yesterday I was bored, very good. And then you have an example, Carla Gabriel, that you put subject plus verb B plus an adjective. For example, I was happy, I was bored, I was hungry, Fatima was angry, for example, or Fatima was sad. Or you can say, for example, uh, Fatima was a nurse in the hospital. Or uh, yes, Fatima was a nurse in Sacamil Hospital, for example. Okay. Right? So you say subject plus verb be in past plus a profession. For example. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. So let's continue. Don't worry. If you have more questions, I, I am here, okay? Okay. Mm. It's okay, say, were you in the training last Friday? That is perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I was in the training last Friday. No, I wasn't. I was in my house. Okay, very good. I will go to another group, but if you if you need me, please send me a message so I can go back, I can come back, okay? Okay, very nice. Thank you. Computer? ¿Y qué pregunta ahí, Francis? Was the computer? la computadora en el en el escritorio o en la en el escritorio encima del escritorio, ajá, es What's the computer and on the desk? Ah, desk. Uh-huh. What's the computer? Y esta, where the training to return to work? What's the computer on the desk? What is the other one? Where the, the training to return to work? 
It's okay, say it. Where they mm. training? Where they training? Taking play. So, return to work. Oh. Can you can you write it on the chat so I can see what what's going on? Okay. Write it on the chat so I can see. Ahorita. Es que no puedo escribir. ¿Por qué? Ah, aquí ya lo no lo veía. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, María. Uy, ¿qué pasa? Uh -huh. We already have the seven questions. Do you ask your classmate here? Were they were they training to return? Yes, they were. Yeah, that is a good question. That is a good question. However, it's another tense. That is past progressive. Ah. Se me está adelantando ya. Right. Mm -hmm. Were they training to return to work? When you say that, oh, you... La gramática. <laughs> Why? The Grammar is beautiful. No de lenguaje. Were they training? I am science teacher, no language teacher. <laughs> you are what? Science? Science, yes. Uh, no, I, I, I am linguistic, so that's why. Mire, está metiendo bullying. En español me gusta. No. Here, where you have it. ¿Cómo se puede poner en, en pasado esa teacher? Mm, for example, was the training, was the training about returning to work, for example? Was the training about, was the training about returning to work, for example? Then we are talking about the training. So we say the training was about returning to work. Training about returning mm -hmm. to work. It, yes. It's correct say, uh, was your work heavy this week? Was your, yes. But then instead of saying work, we're going to say workload. Workload. Workload is related to all the things that we do at work, you know. For example, in my case, I send emails, I send reports, many things that I do every day. But sometimes it's like, yeah, I have two emails to send, so it's easy. But sometimes you have hundreds of emails, right? So that's different. So that's the workload, right? I tired it because I stay in meeting at 7 a.m. <gasps> I'm working six six a.m. So, <laughs> teacher, today uh -huh. I have a. Con usted no sé cómo se llama lo que tenemos, pero no me voy a quedar. Una meeting. Ah, no. Ya me está diciendo. A las diez y diez. No quiero más reuniones. Desde las siete de la mañana estoy en reuniones. Terminé hoy a las seis. Solo cené y lo regresé. I be. I will no, be there. ¿Dónde lo tengo que poner? Que no okay. me quedo. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. I will I will just write it here. No se quiso quedar, es rebelde. <laughs> what else can I do? Creí que iba a pasar desapercibida. Lo creyó, no funcionó. Very good. So you finish, right? I think I think yes. we're gonna go back and we're gonna see another activity here about pass. Let's go. Okay, sounds great. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Ellington. How are you? Hi, hello, Wala. <clears throat> hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry, I have to change to how for my internet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Ellington, don't worry, it's okay. We're going to uh, continue working right now with the questions. 
let's see what are the questions that you have written, right? But in this case, what we're going to do is going to be a little bit different. You are going to select someone that is not from your group, right? And you are going to ask to that person. For example, Raul, Maria, and Edwin, they were working together, right? So Raul, he cannot ask Maria, Maria cannot ask Raul, and she cannot ask Edwin. She can ask anybody else, but they too. Is that clear? Okay. Select one yes, question. Yes. Select one question. Oh, yeah, repeat, one. Please. Huh? repeat, please. Okay, okay, please. very good. For example, uh, Fatima, who was in your group? Carla and Osmin. Okay, very good. So, for example, if you start, you cannot, you are going to select one of your questions, but you cannot ask the question to Carla and Osmin because you already work with them. You are going to ask that one question to someone else. It can be Esther, it can right. be Veronica, Ala, anybody, right? That's what we're gonna do. So we're going to pick up some of you and we're going to start with uh, Osmin Alexander. Repeat, please. <laughs> okay, what are we doing, Osmi? What is the activity that we're doing? Um, sentence with verb. Sentences e? or questions? Question, question uh, with verb be in past. What is the past of the verb be? Osmin. Wasn't well. Okay, very good. Can you select one of your questions, please? Um, was your was your practice English yesterday? Was your practice? Well, well, your practice. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Right, because when we are ask, when we're asking what does mean is saying, for example, where you practice, look at the chat, please. English yesterday. That sentence first is incorrect. Because the correct way of asking this question, look at the chat, please. Yes. Is were you practicing? Were you practicing English yesterday? And that would be past progressive, Osmi, because we're having two verse, right? I can ask you, were you in class yesterday, Osmi? Yes, I was. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, very good. So that's what we're gonna do, right? We're going to make questions here. Your question right now is not correct. We need to use was and were, right? And sometimes it's a little bit confusing with past progressive, right? But we're going to learn, no, we're not going to learn that. We're going to learn that in the next model. No sé con quién, pero lo van a aprender. No se preocupen. Now, let's see here. <laughs> Another person, let's see. Veronica, ask your question to someone else. Pay attention to the question. Okay, I. Raul Francisco. Raul Francisco. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Raul Francisco. Were you at home the last weekend? Well. You listen to me? No, repeat, please. Okay. <laughs> Were you at home the last weekend? Uh, you. Ah. Yes or no? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I were. Yes, oh, I. What? Were. What? Was. 
Yes, Where? I was. Yes, I was because I, he, she, it, you, was. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. So the answer is, Raul Francisco, were you at home last weekend? Raul. I don't know the answer. We just told you the answer. You just have to repeat. Were you at home last weekend? Were you at home last weekend? Se hacen los que no me oyen, fíjese. Oh, no, I don't know the, the answer. Okay. Your answer can be positive or negative, Raúl. Were you at home last weekend? Yes or no? Um, yes. Yes? Okay, very good. What else do you need? Look at the chat, uh, Raúl. Right? You say yes. What is? What else do we need? Yes? Yes, what is the I subject? Was. Yes, I was. Okay, very good. So you see, you know the answer. Right? Yes, I was. Very good. So, Raul, choose one of your questions and ask someone else. Uh, other questions? Yes, one of your questions. Yeah, I have. Uh, Veamos, pues. What's the What's the computer? What's the computer on the desk? Okay, as as one of your classmates. Mm -hmm. Ask the question to one of your classmates, please. Uh, uh, Teacher. Y María Jesús. Okay. No, she was in your group. No, it's my group. Mm -hmm. Another person. Ah, uh, uh, Esther, Maricela. <laughs> What's yes, the answer? Yes, it was. Very good. That's perfect. Yes, it was. Esther, ask another question. One more. Uh, Carla Gabriel. Uh -huh. Watch. Were you in the platform yesterday? No, I were. I was. I wasn't. Very good. Were you in the platform yesterday? No, I wasn't. Very good. There we are, right? This is a way that we make questions be, with be in the past and then we have a short answer, right? Now, one more person, Carla Gabriel, choose another person, please. And that will be the last one. Um, um. Edwin. Edwin. Um, okay. Were you married? Okay. Were you married? When? Last year? Yes, last year. <laughs> okay. Edwin. Where? Yes, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Very good. Were you married last year? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, still I am. Right? Very yes, good. I'm married. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So we have here different questions and different answers. Do you have questions about the 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 questions that you provided here? Any any question that you have? Mm -hmm. No? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. No les quedaba, pero let's continue. <laughs> let's, let's get to work right here, okay? If you have questions, please don't be afraid to ask me questions. We're going to go with the next activity. And look what we're going to do here. Here it says, 
right? Can you see my computer? Yes. yes. It says, read the conversation below and identify the verbs in past. Then answer the questions on the next slide, right? Now we have page 45. Everyone please go to your book and go to page 45, right? Now page 45, we have the conversation between Jack and Julie, right? What are you going to do here? We're going to identify the verb forms in past, and then we're gonna practice the conversation, of course, right? But I need you to identify the verbs. For example, in the first in the first participation, we have Jack. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Is there any verb in past in that in that part? Look at this. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Is there any verb in past? No. No. No, not all. Very good. Right? We don't have any, any, any verb in past there. So I, what I want you to do is to read the conversation quickly with your classmates, right? And you're going to identify the verbs in past. Right now, we're going to have the conversation. Jack is going to be uh, Raul, and Julie is going to be Esther. Okay? Let's see. Hey, Julie. This is Jack. How are you doing going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a uh, training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first eye and prevention. Sounds cool. Where did it take place? It, it was held at the Crown Plus Hotel. Did you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of, most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learn it a lot. Very good, very good. So there we have, right, we have a very small conversation. We're just gonna practice here this verse, attended, attended, okay. right, that would be the pronunciation. Then we also have this one, everything, 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 everything. And this question, look at this. How are you? For example, when you say, how are you? Then we say, how are things going at work? Right? It's the same, right? How are you? How are things going at work? Right? It needs to go very smooth, right? And then we have, look at, remember to use the table that we used for pronunciation yesterday so we can um, pronounce the verse that we're going to work with today, okay? Now, are you ready to practice? Yes. Yes? Are yes. you sure? Yes. Okay, so let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see here. I think we're gonna work in pairs. Can you put this okay. in again, please? What? It's in the book. It's on page 45, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, okay. Now, let's go right now, let's get to work. Remember, practice the conversation, but also find the verse, the verb forms in past. Okay, let's go. Don't forget to answer the questions on the same page, page 45. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fatima, Maria, Raul. Raúl, let's go. Fátima?
Fatima, whenever you can, please join your group, okay? The book. Forty. Oh, yeah. Forty-five. The book. Mm -hmm. Forty-five. It's forty-five, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you find it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Yes. Any questions right now? No. Okay. Let's start. I want to listen to you. Yes. Uh, yes. I have a question. Go ahead. The pronunciation to bear learn. In past yeah. is learned. Okay, oh, I'm, with D. I'm going to show you something, and you will give me the answer. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> no molesta, digamos que le están pagando. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, the verb, the verb learn in the base form is written like this. Learn. Learn. Right? That's yeah. the that's the writing. Learn. Yeah. Now, based on this table, in which in which category should I put it? Number one, number two, or number three? Number three. Number three. Number three. Very good. So, if it's number three, what is the pronunciation, Elinton Antonio? Mm. The the P word number three. Yeah, what is the pronunciation in past of this verb? In your yeah. opinion, um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, teacher. Yeah, yeah, you know, because this one is here. What is here. the pronunciation? Learn. Learned. Huh? Learned. Learned. Listen to this. Learned. Because learned. if you say learned, is this one oh, and this is okay. not no learned okay. what learned. you have to do fatima he said is that you put fatima what you have to do fatima <laughs> is that you have to put in ellington and corina you have to put to make this pronunciation learned you have to put the tip of the tongue behind your teeth. So you say, learned, learned. 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 So we say, learned. we say called, cleaned, called. offered, learned. damaged, offered. Loved, loved, used, used. right? We don't say, used. we don't say call it, clean it, no. Offered, offered, no. We say offered. <laughs> Damaged, loved, the, right? That's loved, what we're gonna do. Loved. Okay. Did I answer Thank your question? You. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you, Elinda. <laughs> <laughs> very good. So continue. Thank you, okay. Thank you teacher. Okay. Uh, Elinda, um, yeah. yeah. I start the conversation. Okay. Um, okay. Hi, you like this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thing. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend and training last year. We are sending the invitations. For the new for one, mm -hmm. for invitation, for the new want. Yes, like? I do. Yes, I do. The training I attended was about fields A and prevention. So good. Where did it take place? I was, I was heard at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, this do you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most, most of us were places with the speaker in practice. I personally learned a lot. 
Okay. Thank you. Hey. In Fatima. Very nice, guys. Very good pronunciation. Okay. Very good. Keep practicing. Thank you. I will go to another group right now, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Let me go. Oh, Carla Gabriel uh -huh. Let me see. I see. Are you practicing? Yes. Yes, dice, yo no la oí. No, estaba escribiendo, teacher. Mm -hmm. We are for the question. Okay. In your, in your opinion, how often should trainings take place? How often should training... No entiendo la pregunta. In your opinion, how often? Remember the adverse of frequency? Yes, I don't remember. Should. Huh? How Where often is should, should is, for example, a suggestion. When you think, for example, how much do you, like, or how often you think you should get more money in your job? Right, should is like a suggestion. I think, I believe, right, it's como, like, for example, let's suppose that you are sick, you, right? You have, you have <coughs> the cough, right? They say, Osmin, you should go to the doctor because you have the cough. Como the re recomendación. Exactly. A suggestion, a recommendation, exactly. Very uh, good, Osmi. Very good. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, is very good the take the take place because he is an hotel. Okay. Okay. But in here, the question is a little bit more like, uh, like how many times, for example, you think that trainings are good. Um, right. For example, in my case, we get trainings like every month, I guess. Once a month. So um, I think we should get more trainings, at least two in a month. Right. In my case. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's my recommendation. Right. I think we should have more trainings, not only one. Y me oye, me está grabando, ya me reí. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Teacher, but the question uh -huh. is, how often should trainings take place? Uh -huh. When you say take place, it has two meanings. It has two, the, two meanings. For example, it can say take place in a location. Uh -huh. For example, in a hotel, at CIFCO, right? for example, right? But also... Uh -huh. But also another another definition is when you say uh, when how often they should take place is how many times, for example. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So it has in the, to in this case is uh, many many uh, many times. Many times. What do you think about the conversation? I think that place. Mm -hmm. They take place in, yes. in your case. Okay. Very good. Teacher, how do you say trabalengua? Tongue twister. The conversation is tongue twist. Tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. Yes. It's a tongue. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Very good. Uh, tongue twister. Huh? Very good. Now, for example, I, if, if you can say, in my opinion, trainings should take place every week. Not too much, right? Every week, right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, okay, short term take place. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you did you finish? Did you practice the conversation and everything? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. I will see you in 
two minutes, okay? Okay. Did you practice? Yes. Yes, teacher. Did you answer the questions? Hello? Yes, teacher. Almost, we are in the last. You're in the last one. Yes. Okay. In your opinion, how often should trainings take place? In in our in our opinion. In your Maria, for example, in Maria my and me. Uh -huh, exactly. In my in my case, my personal case, I think in my opinion, trainings should take place every two weeks. Okay, it's okay. That would be for me, right? I think that uh, it depends. Wait. Maybe the circumstances, I don't know. But or the thing. How do you say el tema, teacher? The topic. The Depends topic. on the topic. Depends on the topic. Yes. Depends on the topic. Yeah, you are, you are right. Yes. Depends on the topic. Okay. Probably we we were we were in uh, in trainings. Well, some weeks we we were two or three times a week. Two or three trainings per week. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Writing. Maybe one. <laughs> no, we we were in different kind of topics. Mm. And to, to use some different uh, programs and platforms to to teach. Uh, online. Online, yeah. Platforms. 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 Okay, very good. How how yes. do you how do you how do you teach uh, PE through Zoom? With Zoom, we we don't we don't use Zoom at the school. We only use Teams. Teams. Okay, and how do you how do you teach the class using a video conference? With every with day. Every day, mm -hmm. yeah. But for PE, for example, for Anna. Ah, for me, mm -hmm. I I prepare my 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 class, mm -hmm. yeah, with a presentation of with PowerPoint. I use some gift mm -hmm. to make the example of some exercises. <clears throat> I prepare the 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 presentation of of PowerPoint with the with some gift. I try to to variate. Sometimes uh, sometimes I do the first part. I sometimes I I do the warm up. Sometimes I do the stretch mm. to make the some variety. I don't know what what is the word but <laughs> I mm. hope that, that to I, make a variation. I I make a variation. Very good. To yeah. make a variation. Sometimes the warm up the, the 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 next week I will I will use to warm up aerobics to dance yeah I I, I will dance with the boys and girls to warm up so that probably will be better for them too mm -hmm. much fun for them and and that's it I teach boys and girls from third third and fourth grade. Nice. Yo ahí me puse a bailar con los bichos. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. Well, let's let's go. I think we're done, right? Let's go and let's practice with the group. Let's go. Teacher. Yes. Oh, I, yes. Vamos a hacer examen final o algo. Yes, la plataforma. Yeah, it is in the platform. Uh, we go. We can do it if you already finished the the you know the five hunger for this week. You can see mm -hmm. the final exam at the end. Okay. Right. It has like four or five sections, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it's uh -oh. very Igual easy. Igual que el anterior. Yeah. Very no. easy. Uh -huh. Thank, Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. See you. See you, see ya. Hello. Wake up. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> Hello. Drink coffee and let's continue. Or drink water. <laughs> <laughs> or drink coffee. coffee. <laughs> or drink coffee. I will die. <laughs>
<laughs> now we're going to <laughs> we're going to continue here. I need you to tell me where are or which are the verbs that you were able to find right using simple past. Now we're going to start with Elinto Antonio. Tell mm. me the sentence and where did you find a verb in simple past? Um read. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Read the conversation below. No, 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 no. No. no, tell me, tell me where did you find one verb in simple past in the conversation? Okay. Um for example. Mm -hmm. Do you where? Okay, I will wait for you. I'll be back to you, Elinto. Veronica. Okay, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I want to know if you attend a training last year. Okay, what is the verb? Attend. Attended. 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 Very good. Attended. Attended. Okay. I want to know, look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. Listen, there is a mistake here. It's no question mark. It's period. It's Teacher in health health or was it was health? It was held, okay. It was okay, very good. What's another one? Very good, Elinto. Porina. Okay, what's another verb? The verb is um, learned. The verb. Can you tell me the sentence? Okay. Um, I, I, le I, I learned in no in the from the from the conversation from the conversation. Ah, did you um did you find in the helpful? No. Did you find it helpful? Okay. Did you find it helpful? Very good. That's another example of simple past. That's a question. Okay, very good. Very good, Corina. Maria. Okay, teacher. Um, where did it where did it take place? Where did it take place? Very good. You were right. Where did it take place? The verb? The, this is the auxiliary, right? It's telling us in past. What is the past tense of take, Alan? Took. Took. Very good. What is the past tense of find, Edwin? Find. Mm -hmm. Found. Found. Okay, very good. Found. Found. Very good. Now continue here, uh, Esther. Another example. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. We did. We did. We did. Okay, where is that? Let me see. I can find it. No. Learn it. Learned. Okay. Learned. I personally learned a lot. Okay. Very good. Learned. Is that learned? Learned. Very good. And the last person here, Osmi. Um. <clears throat> I 
Was me? Was me, was me, was me. Was me. Learned? No. Instead, already said that. Tell me another one. Attend. Okay, read the sentence, please. Uh, yes, I did. The training I attend was about fears. Okay, was about. Right. Very good. So there we are, right? We have these verse in past. These are examples that we have. It's very important that you are able to identify verse, right? Or the tenses that the conversation is written in, right? That's very important. So you say, oh, that conversation is in past, right? Or oh, that conversation is in present. Very good. Now, let me, let's move on. I want you to watch a small video. In the video that you are going to watch, you are going to see some activities in past, right? And I need you to pay attention to them and try to remember so later on you can write your own examples. Is that clear? The, the video is very short. So let's go ahead and watch it right here. I'm going to put you in mute so we can all listen, right? Pay attention to what is written there, the examples, so later on you can write your own. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can yes, you listen teacher. to this? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. We're gonna start here. We might not be able to watch it all, right? Let's let's go ahead and watch. Let's see. Did you have a good weekend, Monica? Oh yeah, it was great. So what did you do? On Saturday, I went to the theater with my parents. What play did you see? I saw Cinderella and it was an amazing show. What did you like the most? I like the costumes and the songs. What about Sunday? Did you do anything special? I read a book in the morning. Then I did my homework, though I didn't feel like it. But I knew I had to. The weather was so beautiful and warm. So we went on a picnic in the park in the afternoon. We ate some sandwiches and drank some fresh orange juice. After lunch, we stood on the stream bank and fed the ducks. Then we took a nice stroll through the park. A moment later, it started to rain. So we ran as fast as we could. As soon as I got home, I took a hot bath. I enjoy spending time with my family. How about you? How was your weekend? Well, on Saturday, I went shopping with my mom. I needed a dress for my cousin's birthday party, so I trade many dresses. So did you finally find your right dress? Yeah, I did. I found the perfect dress for the party. So how was the party? It was great fun. There were lots of beautiful decorations in the room. The cake looked amazing. My cousin blew out the candles and cut the cake. We sang the birthday song. Then we played lots of games and I won many times. Where was the party held? It was held at a party center. How was the food? The food was delicious, but I ate too much and felt a little sick. And I also drank too much juice.
So were you able to stay until the end of the party? Yes, I was, because I only started to feel sick at the end of the party. When I got home, my mom made me some tea and I felt much better after drinking it. Anyway, I loved the party. It was awesome. Very good. Now, if you look at this conversation, like this video, right, they are having a conversation about what happened during last weekend, right? What were the topics or what were the things that they did during the weekend? Who remembers? They do a lot of things. They did, they did a lot of things. They okay. did a lot of things. They did a lot of things. For example, Edwin, one thing that they did. Oh, the, the first lady, she went to the theaters to see the princesses. I don't know, something. The Cinderella. Okay, Cinderella, Cinderella story. Yes. Very good. She went okay. to the theater to watch or to, you know, to see, right, to the see. Cinderella story. Okay, very good. What Cinderella. else? Who else remembers? Very nice, Edwin. Thank you. Uh-huh. The others? Another girl uh, went went to to the mall and go with with her mom and go to shopping okay she went shopping she went she, shopping she went with her shopping. mom okay very good. with her mom with her mom okay very good now would you like to watch the video one more time okay okay let's watch the video let's pay attention because for the last activity that you're going to do you will create a conversation in simple pass with one of your partners about the weekend. Okay? So let's just start. Let's watch. It's only three minutes, so let's do it. Can you listen? Yes. yes? Very nice. Let's start. Again, on mute, so we can all listen at the same time. From the Did you have a good weekend, Monica? Oh yeah, it was great. So what did you do? On Saturday, I went to the theater with my parents. What play did you see? I saw Cinderella, and it was an amazing show. What did you like the most? I like the costumes and the songs. What about Sunday? Did you do anything special? I read a book in the morning. Then I did my homework, though I didn't feel like it. But I knew I had to. The weather was so beautiful and warm, so we went on a picnic in the park in the afternoon. We ate some sandwiches and drank some fresh orange juice. After lunch, we stood on the stream bank and fed the ducks. Then we took a nice stroll through the park. A moment later, it started to rain, so we ran as fast as we could. As soon as I got home, I took a hot bath. I enjoy spending time with my family. How about you? How was your weekend? Well, on Saturday, I went shopping with my mom. I needed a dress for my cousin's birthday party, so I trade many dresses. So did you finally find your right dress? Yeah, I did. I found the perfect dress for the party. So how was the party? It was great fun. There were lots of beautiful decorations in the room. The cake looked amazing. My cousin blew out the candles and cut the cake. We sang the birthday song. Wow. 
Then we played lots of games and I won many times. Where was the party held? It was held at a party center. How was the food? The food was delicious, but I ate too much and felt a little sick. And I also drank too much juice. So were you able to stay until the end of the party? Yes, I was, because I only started to feel sick at the end of the party. When I got home, my mom made me some tea and I felt much better after drinking it. Anyway, I loved the party. It was awesome. Okay, very nice. Now, what else can you tell me besides Edwin and Alan? Who else can tell me more about the video? Uh huh. Is there? Tell me one thing about the video. The last girl uh, felt sick of the for the end of the party. At the end of the party, why why At she felt sick? Why did she, why did she feel sick? She ate so much. She ate a lot of okay. She ate a lot of food. Very nice. Very nice. What else? Uh -huh. And the first girl um uh, let me see i let you see went to a picnic with her family okay the first girl went to a picnic with her family very good raul what do you remember thank you stan <laughs> it was awesome. awesome what was awesome what was awesome the party. The party was awesome. Very good. Very good. Elento Antonio. You are on mute. You are on mute. Uh, they the they they was after lunch we was two on a stream bank i don't know i remember uh, what happened after lunch as two as two as two on the stream but mm. i know i remember what else what else do you remember for uh, look uh, oh oh and observe, look at the uh, i don't know oh, how do you say uh the patos no sé the dot. Del okay. Ah, dot okay okay they went to watch the dogs after the lunch okay after the lunch yes. very good they went to watch the dogs after the lunch alan what, what else talk? Okay, Veronica. Okay, I remember that Monica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monica or Alan? Uh, Sandra or Alan? I continue? Veronica, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, she did the homework mm -hmm. and read a book. She read a book, okay. Um, in the night, she took, took she a, took a whole batch. Very good, very good. In the morning, she read a book, she did the homework, and during the night, right, she took a hot bath. Okay, very nice. One more person, Fatima. Um, Monica, she said that enjoyed spending time with her family. She enjoyed spending time with her family. Very good. Now, what we're going to do in this moment, 
is that we're going to get in pairs. Let me see, two, 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 two. Yeah, very good. We're going to get in pairs, and you're going to start writing very, like a very small conversation, right? Like the one that they had, right? So you can ask questions, right, with your classmate, right, about what happened during the weekend, during your weekend, right? If you say, ah, I stay at home. So you can invent other activities, okay? There's no problem. So now we're going to have like four minutes and then we're going to come back and then we'll finish, okay? So you can start working on the conversation right now and we're going to finish it tomorrow, but let's start. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Four minutes, then we come back. For, four minutes. Teacher, vamos a hacer una conversación de, de amistad, nada más. Vete a la. Más fácil. Aviso okay. usted. Uh -huh. Ok, Yelton. Um, tell me how was your weekend? Mm, my weekend. Uh, for example, um, usando el pasado, ¿verdad, uh, teacher? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I was um, working, and working is uh, very, I don't know, how do you say in, in, in English, pesado. Or mucho trabajo. Oh, very, very work. I work during the weekend. Very hard. I work very hard. Let me see here. I work very hard. Right. I worked very hard during the weekend. I worked very hard during the weekend. Okay. Okay, continue. Oh. Why, why did you work very hard? Um, for example, to... Because. Uh -huh. uh, because to requirements um, for the country, Nicaragua and El Salvador, uh, the... Um, uh the permit mm -hmm. of credit uh need uh need um have the correct and productions okay very good now for... you can ask that question to carla okay carla uh, do were you were you working uh, and uh, yesterday? Uh, yes, I was working uh, yesterday because all night because i yes because i today i give gave i gave um, some reports to my box so yes uh -huh. so yesterday i I had to, I had to, uh, I had to work very hard and, 
and I lost my my English class. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we noticed. Okay, we noticed. Okay, very good. So that's what you're going to do for tomorrow. Okay, you're going to create a conversation like the people in the video. You ask questions, another person will answer. You know, that's the way we, we will keep a conversation. So let's go because everyone, I think, they are waiting for us. So let us go, let us go, and then we can continue. Hello. Hi. Did you practice, hi. Did you practice that conversation? Yeah. Yes. yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to do the same. We're going to practice a conversation where you ask and answer questions with your classmates. Right. That's what we're gonna do. It's going to be speaking and also in writing. Okay. So I need you to please try to log in at 8 p.m., right? So we can start working early, okay? Good. Now I will let you go right now because we have sessions right, at 10 p.m. So I'll let you go, okay? Bye. Have a good night, bye-bye, take care. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.